Thanks for tuning in. My name is Scott, Two Quacks, Five Clucks Farm. Today's episode is an episode we've never done before. It is about homestead or farm decor. So what we got going on today is I am going to be assembling a eight foot windmill. So who doesn't like windmills, right? Jen hopped on to Groupon. I really don't know what Groupon is. If you know what Groupon is, just comment below, let me know. But she got a great deal on it. So it's up to me to assemble it. And I'm gonna show you how to assemble it and how it operates. All right, guys, you guys ready to come out? Nope, I gotta wash out your water and get your feed. So you guys have to hold the horses or hold your feathers. This is your last move. Let's move you all to the crest of the hill. Release the cluckins! You guys got some thick grass and clover over here you gotta work on. It's your last day in here. I forgot to fill their water up. Usually when they come out of the chick shawl, they go straight for the water. This is an eight gallon cube water from Premier One. Works great. I went ahead and put on a Homesteaders of America decal on it. If you guys don't know about Homesteaders of America, I will leave a link in the description. Check them out. They're an awesome group of people. And they are doing an online conference this October. So please stay tuned. Check them out online. You won't regret it. We have a ton of new subscribers to the channel. So to all of you new subscribers, we thank you for subscribing and watching our content. We have a lot of new stuff coming out. We got a lot of new projects coming down the pipe. Anywhere from a new greenhouse, upgrading the fencing to the duck paddock, which you don't want to miss that. Building a Chickshaw 2.0. We already have one. We're going to build another one using Western Red Cedar. You don't want to miss that either. I'm about to feed our eight Easter Eggers and two Black Copper Morons. They are going into the new Chickshaw once when it's built, but I'm having an issue. At night, they love to sleep in the run and not inside where they can roost, be safe, be warm, stay dry, so on and so forth. So if you guys have any tips at all to get these birds to sleep inside there, right there, yep, right there, <laughs> it's pointing down to the ground. So if you guys have any tips at all to get these birds from sleeping in there, instead of down in the run, please let me know in the comment section down below. We greatly appreciate all of you new subscribers. A lot of you are here for the Harvest Moon giveaway. So after our drawing on September 17th, we would love for all of you to stick around. I also want to thank two people, Joe D and Grandma Sandy. 
You two have been leaving a ton of kind comments. You guys by far are some of our top fans. So from the bottom of my heart, I greatly appreciate the both of you. I also appreciate you two taking the time out to watch a lot of our vlogs. So thank you, Joe, and thank you, Grandma Sandy. What you got there? Got some radishes for Mama. Oh, they look good. Yeah. They turned out really well. You see what's over there, don't you? What? Count the guineas. The guineas. Oh, I know. I saw. The Mama got taken off her nest last night. <sighs> Brothers everywhere, and I can't find one egg. Not even a shell. So who doesn't like a windmill in their front yard? Whether you have a homestead or a small farm, a big farm, what have you, who does not like the sight of a nice majestic windmill? Whether it be vintage or bought from say Tractor Supply or any other big box store, Jen came across this windmill from a Groupon deal. I don't know what Groupon is, but it is what it is. It's supposedly eight foot tall, but it only weighs 23 pounds. It comes with stakes to stake it in the ground. I just don't know the logistics behind these stakes, whether or not if we get a bad wind storm, if, it, if it's gonna blow the windmill out of the ground, who knows? You and I, we're going to find out together as I put that together. Now, this should be fun. I've never put together a windmill. I've seen them in other people's yards. They look fantastic, especially over age, as they do look vintage over the years. Let's get this started. I hope it's easy. The instructions are vague at best the instructions don't even tell you what tools you need so we're gonna have to figure this out together i see a bunch of styrofoam styrofoam on a farm or a homestead can cause a lot of problems especially if you free range your chickens or the wind's blowing you got these small pieces of styrofoam blowing everywhere if you do have livestock, just try to manage the styrofoam the best you can. Oh, and this is the granddaddy of them all. See, like I said, be careful of your small pieces of styrofoam. This could easily get caught in the wind. Your chickens can find it, peck at it, even eat small pieces of it. Not good for the chickens or any other livestock. So be careful on that. Granddaddy of them all, right here. Woo. Oh, look at that. We got some Allen wrenches, I think. No, these are the, <laughs> these are the stakes. It looks like I lost the instructions. Let's go find those instructions. Now I can already tell this is gonna be challenging. Is telling me all kinds of different instructions. This windmill is eight foot. It's made by Costway. You can look them up at costway.com. Quite honestly, I do not know where to start here. We'll just flip the page and we will start right here. I have no if this is even correct I'm already missing one small washer it comes with four small washers and three big ones I got the big ones but I'm missing a small washer they are extremely vague on instructions we are assembling the legs first this part down here, this is the bottom leg. 
One thing's for sure, this Magnaflex wristband works great. I use it on every project. The magnets secure anything metal to the wristband and will not come off unless you use force. Look at that. Awesome. So far we got the legs assembled. Up here at the head. I think I got that right. I'm not going to tighten it down just yet. But we will see. I hope I don't have to back these screws out and find out that this part goes up on the inside. The instructions does not tell you where these legs go, whether they go on the outside or the inside. These holes you see, that will be for the bracing. And then your stakes will go in through this hole right here. Each leg has a hole. So far, so good. It looks like our next step is to assemble all these braces on the windmill. Somehow we got extra braces. We'll get it together, we will. We're gonna give mama her, her homestead decor. That's, that's a given, whether it be Missing a couple screws or missing a brace or two, it'll be all right. It's just as long as it spins, right? And tells the direction of the wind. That's all that matters, right? All right, so I figure we'll start, well, let's start. I would assume that this goes here. We definitely don't want to lose any pieces. I already lost one small washer that or that or the kit didn't come with it we'll go with the ladder we'll just say the kit didn't come with it nah something's not right now i see i see why we have extra braces i think wait hold on no okay no hold on We'll grab another brace and I got a feeling the instructions don't tell you this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Jen that this was super easy to put together that she can buy as many windmill kits as she wants to. Now how many of you have put stuff together and in the end you think you did a great job then you look on the floor and you see like 10 extra pieces that aren't supposed to be there. They're supposed to be on like the nightstand or TV stand that you're putting together. How many of you have been through that? I can be honest with you. That's happened to me quite a bit. All right. It says... I don't know if you guys can see this. That glare is killer. Da da da. Symbol all braces B1, center braces B2, lower braces B3. B1 I just did. Why is there more B1 down here? I don't know. B3 is at the bottom. Where's B2? B2 is there. Okay. We got this. Guys, ladies, we got this. This is a Groupon deal, right? We got this. Mama's going to be pumped about this. When she comes out, that wind's going to be blowing, and it's going to go... Wind from the north. <laughs> Woo, I'd be a regular old topper shut. That's a local meteorologist around here whose name is actually Topper Shut. All right, I think I know what I'm doing now. I think, but this doesn't add up. It says these go right here, but it's overhanging by a foot. 
what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and move down to this section <laughs> I'm telling you uh, I, th I think oh man I just dropped a nut oh man I already lost one screw I hope that I hope this kit comes with extra screws and nuts but I don't think it does we got this though we got this like I said in the beginning, we're not going to really tighten everything down yet, just in case I have to take something apart. And I will also mention again, this Magnaflex wristband is awesome. The yellow part up here is magnetic. It holds all your nuts, washers, bolts, screws, nails, you name it, anything metal except for a car, it will hold. You know, it will probably even hold this. Look at that. Look at that, did you see it move? Oh, look at that, see? It can even take down the windmill. Voila, we got a brace here. Two braces up here. And I <laughs> have to have like 10 more braces left to put on. Same goes for the back side. You push the screw all the way through. There's really no room to put the nut on. So what you're gonna have to do is push the screw halfway out thread your nut on go down about now no three quarters of the way golden that's pro tip what number six who's counting right i'm really glad i didn't tighten all these nuts and screws because come to find out the the bracing you could put, you have to put basically two braces per per screw. <laughs> the instructions did not say anything about that. So I'm figuring it out as I just hit the windmill with my hat. I'm figuring it out. So far, it looks decent. But I can just keep here. How about we do this? Nope, st still hitting. There we go. So far, so good. I'm getting it. I hope I didn't lose any more nuts or screws or anything like that. We're gonna have our <laughs> we're gonna have ourselves a windmill today. <laughs> So basically with this bottom here, we're gonna, let's see if we can, all right. Put that in like so, bring this piece over, slide it on. And then like I said before, it's easiest to push the screw out some and then thread the nut on. I tell you, I got some big fingers. You know how hard this is? There we go. All right, but don't tighten it down all the way. We need to, we need to make sure we got this thing together right. All right, we'll bring that piece over. Oh, man. All right. All right, well, just like so, we bring this bracket over, or brace, as they call it. Just like so, that was tight. That was a tight fit there. That's always a bad sign. All right, so our bottom bracing is complete, as you can see. Our cross bracing is complete here. It looks like we're gonna have some bracing to put in, I think, right here, or right here, or both places. We'll figure that out. I'm really looking forward to the top there. We got four braces left. Now these braces are small, 
they go around here but on the inside of course <laughs> but I have to take out four nuts again and slide these over the screws now these nuts I've already taken off like twice so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do it a third time to put these on now I tell you to be honest if we were to get another windmill, I could probably have it together in maybe 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> but as a beginner with a windmill from Costway off a of Groupon, I mean, so far so good. It's not a bad windmill, quite honestly. After I tighten up every nut and screw, it's going to be fairly sturdy. You know, some people get frustrated when they put stuff together because their mind can't comprehend instructions or sometimes the task is too difficult. And to be quite honest, my brain operates like that sometimes. I admit, <clears throat> I too get frustrated sometimes because my brain can't comprehend what I'm reading or what I'm looking at sometimes. You know, it's... It, it's normal but it gets to a point to where you have to laugh it off and by laughing it off makes life better it makes your day better it makes your mood better it makes everything better I don't know how many times I'm gonna say better so I'll just stop there if you get a kit or anything like that that has a cotter pin, you know you're messing with something legit. You, you lose that cotter pin, it's game over. I guarantee it. <laughs> uh, I really hope all of you are enjoying this vlog. I've never done a home decor vlog, but I can tell you this has been fun. She is good and stout. Now let's work on the wheel. So we have our rudder. This piece right here, that's the tiller. This piece right here, that's the linker. And then of course, the wheel. We got those pieced together. That's pretty much self-explanatory. I'll show you next what to do. It did come with two cotter pins, and that seems pretty easy to put in, and I will show you that here in a second. This slide. <laughs> I can't reach the top. All right, hold on here. Slide the linker in, just like so. Now your cotter pins, I'm going to show you. It comes with two of them. They look like that. This cotter pin goes under, there's a hole in the linker, you want to push it all the way through, I'm going to have to grab my channel up, we're going to have to lean it back down again. See if you guys are still in the picture. Oh no, I dropped the cotter pin. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep my foot where the cotter pin's at. All right. We got the cotter pin. All right, let's try this again. I'm sure that there's an easier way to do this and I'm probably doing it the hardest way, I'm sure. Slide your cotter pin in. Take your channel locks. 
All right, just like so. Now up top, there's another cotter pin, which I'm gonna have to look for. Uh, so I have a slight confession. <laughs> I guess while bending the windmill down, I lost the cotter pin that goes on the linker that holds the wheel kind of in place. The wheel does have, I don't know, quarter inch of room to shimmy back and forth between the cotter pin and the linker. I do have a very small zip tie to use until I get another cotter pin. So I'm just gonna take this small zip tie and unfortunately use it instead of a cotter pin. Hopefully, it'll work. It should, I don't see why not. At least until I get another cotter pin. Man, I cannot believe I lost a cotter pin. I guess while I have it down, I will bend this cotter pin a little bit more. And just bend this cotter pin to where it won't come out. Your last steps is to hammer in the stakes that it came with. The windmill turned out great. I'm happy with the job I did can't really tell it's working right now it's not windy at all the air's fairly stagnant though the wind did pick up earlier and it did move a smidge it's cheap easy to put together I recommend getting one of these they're only eight foot tall I like them I love windmills who doesn't love wood bills if there's anyone just watching this vlog right now that doesn't like windmills, please comment below and give me your reason why you don't like windmills. I love windmills, especially the old vintage big ones on the old farms you see here and there. I hope all of you enjoyed today's vlog, especially all the new subscribers to the channel. I appreciate all of you. If it wasn't for you guys, this channel would not exist. And again, a huge shout out to our super fans, Joe D and Grandma Sandy. I appreciate the both of you, all the kind comments. We love you guys, we love all of you. So we hope after our September 17th drawing of the Harvest Moon giveaway that all of you will stick around. We have a lot coming up. We got a greenhouse build. We got a Chickshaw 2.0 build, which I don't know if you can see it. I got to build a bunch of raised beds. We got a lot going on. We got processing day coming up probably on either the 20th or the 27th of this month, which we're doing here on the homestead. My mentor, Mark from Salt and Pepper Farm, he'll be helping Jen and I. And we got our own equipment. How awesome is that? We don't have to rent equipment anymore. We got our own equipment from Coops and Moore. We have 24 black copper moron eggs in the incubator right now that are due to hatch in probably about two weeks, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> we have chicks in the brooder right now um i think it's like eight speckled sussex and some other chicks jen knows what jen knows the names uh they'll be joining our eight easter eggers and our two black copper morons that are in the coop back there and they are the chickens that will be going into the new chickshaw 2.0 i'm not going to stick them with these guys that right there that's a chickshaw 2.0 the one i'm building will not be painted because it'll strictly be made out of western red cedar 
I had it custom cut by a guy an hour from here. And I tell you, the wood is beautiful. Oh, it's to die for. I got to clean up the garden, get, get what's dead out of there. I got to... I got to do soil samples and send that out to Virginia Tech. Um, we got to look into doing a veggie stand. We kind of don't really want to rush things too much. Um, we kind of want to take it slow. But at the same time, make money in the process. We have a long list of people waiting on our chicken, which is a blessing. I cannot wait to get them their chicken. All of our meat birds have had access to an abundant, just an abundant pasture of clover. Insane amount. I tell you, we got too much going on. But, well, it's time to go in, take a shower, spend some time with Mama Quack as I almost trip. Appreciate all of you guys for tuning in. Remember, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, if you wish. We appreciate all of you. Until next time, good night, or have a good day. God bless and stay safe.